What is going on people? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you five tips for selling beats online in 2019. Now these are super important tips, especially nowadays when there's a ton of beat makers making beats. You need to set yourself apart from the pack and the way you do that is by looking legit, is by having a solid online presence and having a brand that people can trust in and buy from. So I'm going to run through these five tips for you guys now. Uh, if you do enjoy this video and you find a little bit of value, make sure that you've subscribed to the channel. Make sure you've hit the bell notifications so you don't miss another upload uh, and yeah let's just dive into it with tip number one which is providing the highest quality beats for your customers now I know this sounds stupidly simple however it can be too easy to miss this step and you know it's one thing to mix and master the beat to a high quality if you've done that properly and then you export it as a really low quality file then it's just pointless doing the whole mix and the mastering process because you've kind of just killed the quality just by exporting it wrong okay so it's super important to know how to do that and I'll show you how to do it now so I've got a beat loaded up on here that I made yesterday I'm gonna go down here click export WAV file, standard stuff, click save, and then you're gonna be presented with this window and this is where you need to change a few settings if you haven't already. So just make sure that everything's up to the top quality. So the depth needs to be 32 bit float, resampling needs to be 512, resampling for the MP3 needs to be high as well. And that's basically it, this is more of like a side tip. So you just make sure that you've got everything to the highest possible quality. And the same for the MP3, so you go to export, export the MP3, click save and make sure that all of those parameters are the same again and then just click export. Now what you guys also need to be providing artists with is the stems or you need to have an option for that. Now if you don't know what stems are, they are the individual sounds in the beat exported as a WAV file. So the A to weight, the kick, the clap, the hi-hat, everything's its own separate WAV file. And it just makes things easier for the mixing engineer to, to mix their vocals. So the way you're gonna do that is a little bit different to just exporting the MP3 and WAV file. You are going to highlight all of your sounds in the pattern maker and drop them into the mixer. Now the way you do that is just highlight everything here, double click top one, make sure all of these are highlighted green, come to the mixer, right click, link selected channels and just click starting from this track and it'll just drop every sound into the mixer for you. Once you've done that you just need to click this save icon at the bottom, okay? And if you want to be even more professional and save everything into one file and rename everything so it looks more legit, not like Zaytoven hi-hat, clap, vibe, thin, you know, you want to just you want to just name the file, snare, clap, guitar, piano, and it's just easy for the artist to, to recognize what's what, then right click the save icon, choose a, look, choose a destination as to where you want to save it, and rename it to whatever you like, then hit save and that's that. And then all you need to do is repeat that for every sound in the mixer, it takes a couple of minutes but it's worth it. Once you've done that, click this little down arrow in the mixer, run it to WAV file, click start and you're done. Make sure that the auto create audio clip is unticked because if you do that, because if you don't, it's just gonna drop a load of WAV files into your session, which is just annoying. Okay, so make sure that's unticked and you'll be fine and get those rendered. Okay, so that's tip number one. Make sure you've just got all of your files looking legit, but all the files exported to the highest possible quality for your customers. Tip number two is find your space online. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either make your own website, which takes a few days to get it looking professional, or you can just use a service that provides everything specific for beat makers. It's already out there and it's free to make a start and then there's paid options later on down the line. So the one I use is called BeatStars. There's another one called Airbit and I think they're fairly similar. But I use BeatStars so I'm gonna show you uh, sort of the things that are included. So with the paid membership, it's something like $19 a month. You get this thing called a pro page. Now this is awesome. This is where I send all of my artists. All of my traffic for sales comes through this one website. Okay, now this is your pro page and it's fully customizable. So if you check out the website, mine's black and white. That's my main theme, but you can choose any colors you want. You can change the color of the background, put your own little background in here. And the best part about all of this is that it's super easy for the artist to navigate through. Because look, this is the homepage. You've got all the beats straight away, pricing straight away. If you're a producer, you've got sound kits that you can potentially sell to people, services, and if they want to connect, and if they want to get in touch with you, they can just contact you down here. Uh, via the little contact section. And that's all there is to explain with it. Okay, now this is just super, super useful and efficient to have because once you've got an artist interested, you don't have to then mess around sending them invoices, sorting out payments, because that can deter a lot of people. It, it doesn't come across as legit and it's just more work for you. So why not get a service that just provides everything 
you know, you can be asleep. If someone wants to buy a beat, they just go to your website and buy it. You know, you don't have to wait until the morning to message them back and, and sort of payment out. Okay, so that I that really highly recommend getting yourself on one of these services. Okay, now tip number three is to take care of business. Okay, now this can be a super short step if you've got a service like BeatStars or Airbit because you just need to fill in the blanks once, then anytime you upload a beat, all of these parameters are automatically applied to, to the beat, the prices, the licenses and everything. So let me walk you through how to get this set up. So if you make your account on BeatStars, you just need to come to the top left, come down to my media, and then just come down to your licenses and contracts. Now, I've already got mine made, but I'll show you one of my licenses on here. So this is my basic license, stupidly easy to fill in. You just name the license, come up with your price. Again, if you don't know how much to charge people, just do a bit of research, check out some other producers that make beats similar to yours, look at their pricing, and then just figure out something that's reasonable for the artist, and it's gonna bring you in some money as well. So, choose exactly what files are included with that license little description okay and then when you come down to this feature list this is where you're going to determine how much you're going to provide with this license the more the better but don't provide like way too much value for the price that you're giving okay that's just silly so for me i'm going to charge 30 dollars for this license they're going to get the mp3 they're going to get 10,000 copy distributions 100,000 streams youtube views etc now this is a decent looking license because they can make a bit of money from it and it's not that expensive and then all you need to do after you've done that is just fill in the blanks down here that you've already put in on it, that you've already wrote in here. Okay, once you've wrote all that and you come over to your pro page, look, it's all listed and the eyes can see exactly what they're buying. Okay, now you're just gonna repeat that until you've got all of your licenses sorted. If you don't know what licenses to include, I just include having one that sells the MP3, the MP3, the WAV file, the MP3, the WAV file, and the stems, and then maybe an exclusive license that just gives them outright rights to that beat and you have to delete that beat from your website. Okay, so make sure you take care of that, get your prices right and you are good to go. And the good thing about this is that when you send people to your website and they see the pricing, they can't rip you off, they can't just download the beat and start using it. You know, they have to either buy it or you have the option and the control over whether they can download it for free. Okay, so that is tip number three tip number four is consistency now i mean that in every sense of the word i mean upload your beats consistently make sure that you've got a consistent looking brand now that is in super important and what i mean by that is have a solid theme throughout your website and it takes a little bit of work initially but once you've got the foundation set you know it, it's, it's super easy to to figure out it's super easy to do so if you look at my website i've gone for the black and white theme my logo is fairly simplistic everything's sort of simplistic looking and it all just looks similar if you check out the beats that i upload the thumbnails are all are all follow the same theme so i've got this white background this little circle with a, a logo in it and then i just put in a little avatar you know just to give it something a little bit different for each beat and that's all i do so all you need to do is make sure that you've got all of this set up all of your color schemes everything's consistent throughout your whole all of your socials like your youtube your website, your Instagram, etc., and just make sure that you're uploading beats consistently, uh, and just just create a solid brand around the name of your website. It's not about what the name of your website is; it's about what people think of when they think of your website. And it takes a while to build, but you will get there if you just put enough time into it and just be consistent with it. That's that's that was basically what I said in the beginning. But <laughs> once you've taken care of all four of those steps. That will bring you to step number five, which is to start selling your beats. Now, I'm not going to go into detail with this because I have made a full in-depth video on how to sell your beats, how to reach out to artists, how to find artists, and all that kind of stuff in a separate video. I'll drop the link in the description for you guys to check out if you haven't watched it already. But yeah, the main point of this video is to make sure that you guys have got everything set up and make sure that you've sort of maximized your chances of selling a beat. The only thing that you then need to do is take care of your beat making ability. Once you've got the, once you've got your website, your branding, and everything looks legit, the chances of an artist buying your beats increases significantly. And the reason why that happens is because you just look professional. You have a professional looking website. You know, everything's just taken care of. They don't have to come to you to buy the beat. They can just go on the website. Pick a beat if they like it, they can buy it. And the most important thing is that it builds trust because it's one thing to reach out to an artist on Instagram, you know, send them some files to their email and then send them a dodgy invoice that isn't that doesn't look legit. They have to pay that invoice. Once they've paid it, it takes another hour for you to send the beats because you have to load them all onto an email. 
uh, and it, it, you know it just it just it's just a sticky process for the artist instead they can just come online buy the beat download it instantly you've been paid you don't have to worry about sending invoices it's less work for you it's less work for the artist and you know it's it's legit it's legit and it looks like and you and it looks like you know what you're doing even if sometimes you're not you don't know what you're doing <laughs> okay so make sure you get these things done before you start selling beats to artist people i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did find some value from this video make sure you hit that subscribe button drop a comment let me know your guys thoughts on this topic make sure you hit the bell if you do subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any more tutorials like this one and i will see you guys next time <laughs>